let's get on our bottom. Really loud, Alexis. Dear evil stepmother, why are you so handsome? I wish you were a lot nicer to me. You really mean something to me, and I don't understand. Do you think she knows this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Who is this? You don't have to go. Come back over here. <laughs> Who is it? It's your dad. Well, hug him. <laughs> that was a good double take. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah. You know why you wanted to wear these shirts? Oh, that's funny. Luke about her wish for Christmas set up a homecoming surprise today at her school. WLKY's Ann Bowden went to Crossroads Elementary in Mount Washington for the surprise. All I want for Christmas is my brother. Fourth grader Andrea Miracle didn't know it, but she was about to get a miracle. When her brother left, we all knew that she was very sad about it, and we've heard lots of conversations about Skyping him and wanting to see him and wanting to go to Germany to see him and wanting him to come home. All I want for Christmas is my brother. He's been the He's been in the Army for one and a half years. As a part of a class project, Andrea, along with two other selected students, read their All I Want for Christmas essays. But little did Andrea know, the entire project was created to make her wish come true. This is important to me because Jake is my only sibling. He has been there for me through hard and easy times. The things I miss most about him are his big blue eyes, his giggle, his laugh, his smile, and his hugs and kisses. While every student wrote a letter, teachers and Andrea's mother had a large wrapped surprise with someone very special listening inside. Well, she said in her letter, in her paper, that um, if she got to see her brother, she would have a cow. I would do whatever I could to keep him home. I would be so happy that I would go crazy. I would do anything to see him. Thanks to an approved leave from the Army. Wish granted. I was tearing up in the box. I, oh God, I, miss you. <laughs> I knew that's how she felt, but just hearing her read it and hearing her say it, and the fact that she wrote two whole pages, it was ridiculous. And now Andrea is getting those hugs and kisses she's missed, and time. I don't care what we do as long as I'm with you. That's perfect. <laughs> Now, Andrea's brother, Jacob, will be home until January 3rd. After that, he'll go back overseas to Italy. But Andrea says this homecoming will last her for a while. Anna, mira papa! Mira papa!
The winners of the first Jerry Walsh Award are Cassie and Vincent Boyer. Cassie and Vincent, come on down.
to help us with the uh, reading of the Pledge of Allegiance, or the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. We have Staff Sergeant Josh Hale from the United States Air Force. And his son is Christian Hale, who is on stage. I, th I think he went into shock. He didn't recognize me at first. I, I can't even describe it. It's the best feeling in the world. There's a lot of anxiousness, though. I was ready to see these two little kiddos. So we had to wait a whole day. And all I know is I wanted to come surprise them and then they turn into this. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 